Every person needs love. And uh, like through that, I benefit. Like if we love each other, the whole community as a whole benefits. So it's like uh, something good for everyone. It's not like selfish. But meanwhile, it's kind of selfish, you know, because in some way you, you do it for yourself. Why you, why you help that person? Uh, do you know him? No. Why? Because I feel good. And that's, it's a good, like if somebody's selfish like this way, I would say like, it's very nice. That's a lovely selfishness. I think what we all really want deep down is the same thing and that's someone to share our interests, share our time and um, share perspectives with. If you've ever had a good conversation with someone, those are the three things that you focus on. But in the end, I think it's all the same thing. We all just want that one person to say, you're the coolest person on the planet right now. And because I think you're the coolest person and you're the person that I like to spend the most time with, and you're the person that I'm most drawn to and the person that knows the most about me, I'm gonna slap this I love you saying and peg you with it. It's like pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the love label on the person. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It doesn't rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we only know in part, and we prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. There it is. I think everybody has their own idea. I mean, you know, like, you, the most tragic of couples could be together, and they love each other, but to everybody else it's not love, but to them it is. You create your own idea of it, I would assume. That's how what I have done. It seems to work. God loves without like need of return. So, and so I was actually I was actually uh, talking to my wife once, and where I was sort of like philosophizing about love actually, and, and we we're wondering together: Is love actually selfish in the human sense? Uh, because sometimes, you know, 
someone loves in order to be loved back, right? Uh, and actually, uh, I read I read personal development books, and that includes books on marriage and stuff like that as well. And sometimes, like, the idea in the book is that you know, if you want your marriage to be well, you know, you have to like act in love, or you have to make the choice to love, or you have to do X Y Z in order for X Y Z back, right? Uh, and that's that's the human, you know, that's in the human sphere. Uh, maybe love is something self uh, selfish that you know we love others or we're kind to others. You know, maybe to feel good in return or to get something back in return. Uh, but as, you know, whereas for God, He loves you know without condition, without need, without asking anything in return. Uh, it's God. God's love is absolute. You know, you know it when it's there. But I, and I, I don't think we need to know why. It just is, and like. I'm kind of okay with that. Mm. I don't know. It's an interesting situation, love. Yes. <laughs> it's just this in, like, intensity of emotion that. I mean, you can't really, ex <clears throat> you can't really explain where it comes from or. Or what it is, but. There's just something there. Mm.